Welcome to the third episode of Subscriber Builds. Uh, we're going to jump right into it today. At the end of the last episode, I mentioned a young subscriber who was just getting into blacksmithing, and today we're going to start out with some of his work. This comes to us from Justin, who's 13 years old. He lives in North Dakota, and when he started forging just a few months ago, he didn't have an anvil yet. So when he forged this coal spreader, he actually used a flat rock to do the forging. He says he used half-inch rebar and a fresh-cut pine branch for the handle. Because of the ridges on the rebar, this is actually a pressure-fit handle. And then to finish it off, he scorched the wood with a propane torch to give it a nice finish and also to add strength. So he made this to use with his charcoal forge for spreading and moving coals around. And we do have an image of the forge that he's using here too. I think this is really cool. Great example of a young guy who maybe doesn't have all of the resources and all of the tools that a lot of people would think you would need, but he's just gonna jump right into it with what he's got. He's innovating solutions to problems and he's building as he goes. Forging isn't the only type of creative work he does. He also sent pictures of these rings that he made. These are made from mahogany and amethyst. And I think this is another beautiful example of the great work that Justin is doing. Now, he also mentioned in his email that he does have a new anvil now. He bought a piece of railroad track. And from what I understand, that is actually an excellent material to use for an anvil. I've seen a lot of different videos and a lot of different guys online that will use uh, railroad track as an anvil for doing a lot of really great blacksmithing work. So, Justin, let me say, keep up the great work. Keep on innovating, developing those skills. I think it's really awesome what you're doing here. He also does have a channel. He goes by Guarded Dig 2. I will have a link to that here and also in the description below. So you can go and check out his channel. I think he's just now started putting up some content. So definitely go and check out his channel too. So next, from, uh, from North Dakota, we're going to go north of the border to Saskatchewan, Canada. This is from Jackson. He's 15 years old. He does blacksmithing work and knife making, and he sent us a picture of this beautiful leaf. Uh, let me just say, I know from firsthand experience that making a leaf can be a much bigger challenge than you might expect. And looking at the detail on this leaf, the symmetry, I think he did a fantastic job with this. I tried to make a leaf once and I failed miserably. Uh, hopefully I will revisit that process at some point and maybe do a better job. really wish I could show you a comparison between expert work like what we've got from Jackson here and the work of a complete amateur like what I did last spring. But fortunately or unfortunately, I couldn't find a picture so I don't have to embarrass myself. Anyway, Jackson says this leaf was something he made for his sister for her graduation. This is beautiful work and I'm sure she will treasure it for years and years to come. Jackson says he's found inspiration from this channel as well as others. And looking at the leaf that you did, Jackson, I have to say this type of work is absolutely an inspiration to me and I'm sure it is to many others as well. So thank you for sending this in and keep up the great work. So from Canada, we're heading across the pond to England. These next images come to us from Harry. His first two knives, he said, are made from 1095 steel. He just got started a few months ago. And at that time, he was using a 4x36 belt grinder but he decided he wanted to get more serious about it and make more knives, so he decided to build his own 2x72 belt grinder. Now, I find this really inspirational because I like to make a lot of my own stuff too, at least more simple stuff, but I have been looking at getting a 2x72 belt grinder, and of course, as many of you know, they can be quite expensive. So I've also kind of been debating whether I should try to make one myself. I think Harry's doing an excellent job here. I'll be interested to see this project when it's done. Maybe Harry would consider doing a couple of videos on how he put this together. In any case, Harry, you've done some great work here. I love these knives. You've clearly taken pride in the work you're doing, and it definitely shows. Good luck with that 2x72. And I would guess by now you've probably finished that project, so maybe give us an update on how that went and how it works for you. And finally, from England, we're going to head over to Germany to a subscriber who has submitted work to us before. This comes to us from Fritz with Fritz H. Custom Knives. I think last time he mentioned he was starting to sell knives. And it looks like he's really getting that business going. And I really think his work speaks for itself. I mean, this is tremendous craftsmanship, great attention to detail, and I absolutely love these designs. This is a very clean drop point design here. He said this is his first hidden tang knife. And these next couple of images are of his latest work, very well-crafted bushcraft knife. Beautiful scales on this. I love the contrast between the two types of wood from the handle and the bolster. I think those are copper pins. Uh, and, of course, a beautiful forged finish and a very nice-looking polished Scandi grind. Excellent design, excellent build quality. And looking at your work, I am sure you are well on your way to a very successful knife-making business. And with that, we'll wrap up the third episode of Subscriber Builds. If you've been working on something and you want to send it in, whether it's blacksmithing work, knife-making, 
woodworking, just about any kind of a creative project that you'd like to send in some pictures of and maybe a short description, you can send that to FargoFX, that's F-A-R-G-O-F-X at Zoho.com, and we would love to see your work. Well, thanks for joining me today. Again, for those who've sent in work and have a channel or a website, I will have those links in the description below so you can go and check them out. And with that, I will say have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video.